I'm Dave Ellison. I'm Marty Friedman. We're from Megadeth and Ricky. Happy B Day. All that. Uh, anyways, welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. I'm Ricky, and uh, these are my friends, Jason McMaster and Mark Geary from the band Dangerous Toys. How you guys What's doing? What's up, man? Happy birthday, so you've got dude. Your, well, thank you. You've got Good your second you. record, Hellacious Acres. And, came out, uh, came out uh, last week. Really? Mm -hmm. So, any changes that you guys did on this record that you said, hey, let's do this on this record, not like we did on the first? Because the first was, one did good. I mean, I saw it on MTV a lot. It was all natural for us, though. The progression of the band was really, really natural. The, the uh, things that are different about this record just kind of, we just kind of flowed into it, really. Um, the heart on this record is still the same. It's still a, a good, nasty rock and roll party record, but... There's like a really strong ballad on the record, and we did a Bad Company song, Feel Like Making yeah, Love. Yeah, you worked with uh, Roy Thomas Baker producing yeah. it, who also worked with uh, Free. Yeah. yeah. And um, engineered a bunch of fire did, and water. Did that have any influence on doing the Bad Company song? Not really. It just kind of came it, up. It was. We were jamming to it. That's and a classic like, rock song. Yeah. Just something we were jamming to and had fun with, and we decided to put it on. There. We felt kind of weird about it because we're really, I mean, we're huge Bad Company fans. And, you know, you always think about, man, you know, are we going to mess this up or are we going to do this justice because, you know... So we went ahead and messed it up. <laughs> you know if any of the guys from the band have heard it? I, I have no idea. You know, I'm scared to... If you talk to them, let us know. Getting, yeah. Getting those legal suits in the mail. We kind of toys, yeah. toys it up. But, I mean, we, you know, we definitely all do respect to Bad Company, but we just, we did it because we felt good when we were playing it and hopefully they felt the same when they wrote it, so... Cool. Let's play your new video right now, and uh, then we'll come back and talk about it. This right. is brand new from Dangerous Toys. G -g 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 you say it. G -g 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 Give me no lip. That was Dangerous Toys with Give Me No Lip, and we're back on the Headbangers Ball with Jason McMaster and Mark Geary of Dangerous Toys. And um, any stories you want to tell us about that video? Uh, lyrically? <laughs> about shooting the video? Uh, any inside visually? stories? Um... We had a really good time. You know, the first two videos were a lot harder to make. They didn't work us this hard. And I think the we look really natural in the video, and it's uh, it would it wouldn't wouldn't work this time for some reason. The other director on our first two videos like, okay, you ready to go again? And we ran it, you know, two hundred times already. You this think time maybe, we only put in like eight hours on this video. Do you think maybe because this is your second album and you've done this before that it was a little bit more relaxed? Oh, it has a lot to do with it as well. Okay. Also, right. I noticed on the song "Give Me No Lip." Kind of like Zeppelin used to with a uh, plan page, take turns between vocals and guitars. Yeah. Did you kind of think about hey, let's do that? Well, it wasn't. Better. It wasn't like you know, let's cop the Zeppelin thing, or it's it's kind of even the the old Bon Scott, you know, Angus Young trick too. But um, it's uh, no, it's just we just kind of did it one time, and I was like kind of copying him. Like Danny did this like kind of mm -hmm, kind of riff, you know, and I just kind of went mm -hmm, and then we just kept on doing it. And then we turned it out, it turned into a serious thing, so we left it in the When song. you guys are recording, is a lot of your stuff kind of spontaneous? Because I remember, even in Teasing, Pleasing, it was kind of... All is the word the scatting? scatting? I mean, that's what they yeah, used to call scat. it, when they just kind of... Well, you well, know how to do it. Janis Joplin and, I mean, even Scatman Crothers, uh -huh. rest in peace. But, you know, killer. He's, have you ever heard him sing? Oh, yeah. It's great. great do you do a lot of that? I mean, is it pretty spontaneous, or is everything... Some of that when you're in the studio? Blam first, it down. First, first taken. So Go in there and do it. Just go in there and they, I think I got an idea, I want to try this, and they'll, some, most of the time it just gets left on there. Great. We'll be back talking to the guys from Dangerous Toys. Also, tonight's Ball Buster competition is on the way, but right now it's time to play a video from the Bullet Boys. Here is Hang On St. Christopher. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Brian. And I'm David from Junkyard. Hey, Ricky, happy birthday. Sorry about the Kings. What can we do? <laughs> Good band, Junkyard. Um, speaking of the new Dangerous Toys album, which is called Hellacious Acres, and should be out in your stores now, so go out and buy it. I understand that on uh, some of the songs you have some guest vocal appearances. Right, uh, a song called Sticks and Stones. You just saw three of them. Yeah. Junkyard those, guys. Those junkyard guys, them three dudes that were just on there. Really? They, uh, they came down and, uh, shouted and shouted and screamed and hung out and great fun. bothered us. And, Sounds fun. Yeah. Also, speaking of fun, something, uh, last week we got to do this press conference for this thing, Operation Rock and Roll, which me as a rock fan is really excited about, and you as performers on the bill have got to be really excited. I mean, in case people don't know what it's about. It's going to be incredible. Uh, Operation Rock and Roll is what the tour is called. It's Metal Church, 
Dangerous Toys, Motorhead, Alice Cooper, and Judas Priest. All in one show. It's great. Six oh, hours. Yeah. It's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, what was it like when somebody told you, hey, you guys want to go on this tour? I mean, Motorhead and Alice Cooper and Judas Priest are going to be on it. We I mean. said we didn't want to go. <laughs> yeah, we said. Say well. No, we, of course, we loved it. It was great, man. Uh -huh. What do you say to something like that? How, how, do, you, how do you even explain that to someone? Because you're big fans. I mean, yeah. in your video, you had a Motorhead shirt on. Right. Right. And I you think that, huh? Scared kind of was partly, I mean, you, you said something yeah, to Alice scared, Cooper about that yesterday. Scared was uh, not sort of paying homage to uh, Alice Cooper because uh, Welcome to My Nightmare LP influenced me to write the lyrics to Scared. This has got to be fun. Yeah. So look out for that tour uh, when it hits your town. I'm sure you'll know about it months before <laughs> and your town will be suffering the repercussions you months after the tour. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Remember, the record is called... Happy birthday, man. Oh, thank you very much. The record's called Hellacious Acres. Go out and buy it. It's good stuff. Right now, it's time for tonight's Ball Buster competition. Here's a look at what happened last week with that, that, that heated battle. Spy from Wrathchild America went up against Tainted Angel from South Gang. You called up and voted for your favorite, and this is what happened. Tonight, the winner is challenged by Pantera's Cemetery Gates. Another great, great, great video. We're going to watch both videos, and then all of us are going to pick up the phones, call up, and vote for your favorite. The number to call is 1-900-370-0100. That's 1-900-370-0100. Each call costs only 50 cents. And right now, here is the current Ballbuster champion.